Tyron Woodley hit the lottery uh, today or yesterday. Tommy Fury pulls out of the fight with Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley, who's been training all along, makes you think, did he know something was up? Uh He's the last minute opponent for Jake Paul on December 18th, basically a week from this coming Saturday. Uh, not sure what, what Tommy Fury's uh, ailment was, but they said he's pulled out with an illness. Obviously, Jake Paul didn't have the nicest things to say about uh, Tommy Fury at this announcement. Um, I'm, I'm surprised because, you know, if, if there is a legitimate illness and look, <laughs> training to be a professional fighter is a dangerous occupation. Uh, getting punched in the face is can lead to injuries so who knows if he had a real injury all i would say is typically when you have a real injury you're like hey here's my real injury here's my arm in a cast broken here's my nose busted in half you know but not just hey yeah guys i'm out i'm sick and maybe he has posted that he's his the rationale or the or the illness but i haven't seen it yet and uh tyron woodley getting another crack at the title at least the title of uh you know top youtuber or whatever they're whatever they're calling it but he's uh jake paul's giving him a half a million dollar bonus if he can knock him out um <laughs> meaning tyron knock jake paul out so that'll be an interesting fight on december 18th i'm actually looking forward to in seeing other that words if woodley can land the right hand because he's going to score a knockout the one thing woodley woodley of course professional fighter former champion uh terrific human being from everything i could see at yeah. least um and, and you know a real fighter but not a boxer but if, if he was to pull a knockout, it would be with the right hand, yep. not with the left hand, because he punches good with the right hand. But finish up. Yeah, well, that's it. I guess he's been in camp, and he's going to get another shot at Jake Paul. And uh, quite honestly, I'm here for it. I'm looking forward to it. I find these I find these fights. I wasn't a big fan initially, but I'm starting to get more into these novelty fights, and I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Um, what do you think? You know, the funny thing is, the first thing I got to say is that I thought Fury had a good chance to win only because I like Paul. I told you that. I respect that he, he respects the sport and he's done everything to, you know, he's taken advantage of an opportunity to make money. Hey, that's America, right? Yep. That's the American way. What's wrong? What the fuck's wrong with that? Okay, you haters out there. What's wrong with that? Is he destroying the boxing sport? No, boxing is still boxing. It's a separate, two separate things here that we're talking about. This is entertainment. This is different. Uh, but he is getting in there. He's risking himself. He's fighting. He's picking his opponents well. Mayweather picked his opponents well. I know Mayweather is one of the great fighters. I know. But still, you did not give for being smart and making money and picking opponents. Did you? Did you? No. So I don't know that you should not uh, Paul either. And again, he's respecting my sport, our sport, uh, the sport. He's respect. He, he's training right. He's he got a trainer to teach him. <laughs> give him. He's doing it the right way. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind when you tell me about the rematch, uh, does does that mean that if Woodley wins, he gets to remove the tattoo of Paul? <laughs> I, I don't know about that, but that would... Uh, well, that, I want to know about that. Ken, yeah. these are the details I want to know. <laughs> I'm assuming... We're not talking about standard boxing, right? Yeah. The entertainment's part of it. There's part. I want to know, does he... I want to know, did he ever get the tattoo? Did he ever get the tattoo? He did. Let me shut my fax machine off. Uh, just ahead. so you know, this is Teddy Atlas, the caveman, coming to you with Ken right out, my partner, <laughs> Rob Moore, my producer. I am the caveman. Um, I, I do have a fax machine. I'm going to shut it off. He did get a tattoo on his middle finger. Uh, I believe it says, I love Jake Paul, and I would imagine that, um, <laughs> that does he Does he get to remove it? Or, or does he get to... Put up the middle finger. What does he <laughs> I, get I think both. to do? <laughs> uh, okay. So then he, he would probably want to keep the tattoo on until he did that. So, and the other thing is, that's if he wins. Now, if he loses, what does he have to do? Does he have to put a tattoo of Jake's brother up and say, <laughs> I love the Woodley brothers? Uh, uh, the Jim, the, the, Paul the, the, uh, what is, the, the Paul the brothers. The Paul brothers? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, does he have to? I uh, Those are things that. I want to know. Uh, those are little extra things. I want to know. No. And and does does he say? Does he put a tattoo maybe with it that also says that uh, I you know I love I like MMA, but I love YouTubing more. <laughs> I mean, I want to know. Ken, is this stuff 
Is this contractual? Yeah. Is this in small print, I large print? I think they're finalizing everything, I would imagine, today, since I think it was just announced last night that Fury was out. But um, I will tell you that my friend Jesse Itzler was down in Puerto Rico and bumped into some uh, of Jake Paul's people, and he, he went and saw them spar. Now, look, Jesse's not a uh, boxing analyst, but he said that when he was there that he was in there with sparring. They watched them spar, and he said he, he, he was with me at the Paul Woodley fight with um with Dustin so he's a fight fan and he said look the guys who he who Jake Paul was sparring with I don't know how good they were he said but they were landing shots and they were putting it on him pretty good so Jake Paul's clearly in there with guys that are better than him he said that the guys you know it was aggressive he said I was actually well, I give him a cry like yeah. I said there's a reason to why I point, say what yeah. I say he's doing it the yeah. right way he's I, really I, training I, yeah He's respecting the sport, and he's trying to do it the right way, and he is doing the right way. So, all seriousness now, if he's going to have it, first of all, he got a little older. He's not getting younger, Woodley. He's, what, 40s, right? Is he in? In that context, I think. Let me check. So, while you're checking, I'll just go on. So, he's an older guy that's obviously was past his prime in the in the UFC. He, he had lost, you know, most of his last fights, <laughs> and... Um, but he's a former champion. He's a good right-hand puncher. 39 years old. All right, 39. So he's not getting younger. I don't know how prepared he's going to be for this fight because he's taking it on quick notice. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is if there's going to be a different result, and I'm going to make it real to the point and simple, he has to be busier. He has to move his hands more. He doesn't move his hands enough. And he hasn't in his last few fights in the UFC and definitely didn't against Paul in the first fight. He didn't move his hands enough to win the fight. Uh, unless he lands that big right hand. But even to land the right hand, you got to move the left hand to set it up. You got to move your hands. The, you know, the more you throw, yeah, the more vulnerable you are, but the more likely you are of landing something. If you don't throw, well, you're less likely to land that's something you have to land and i'll finish it with this if he's in shape he could be a he could be a little better this time why teddy why i hear you because he realized from his first effort in the boxing ring not in the cage in the boxing ring a new realm a new neighborhood for him he realized that he didn't throw enough. And maybe he realized he was too respectful, too careful, too cautious, whatever you want to call it, that this time he'd be a little less cautious, a little less respectful in that way. And he'll realize, I have to commit to moving my hands more. And if that comes across from the loss, that he benefited from the loss, and then in the rematch, he has a chance, a chance to get a different outcome. That's my breakdown for that fight.